everyone and welcome to the next video in our training for summer online courses. In this video we're going to learn how to use the page feature on Moodle. So a page is really used for when you have one topic but different kinds of media that you want to use to explain that topic. So in this example we're going to incorporate some questions and some videos that all have to do with the same topic to show you how this works. So to start I want to turn my editing button on and I want to scroll down and here under early career we're going to click add an activity or resource scroll down and under resources choose page and then here in the description you can describe what this page is about so you can explain to your students that there's going to be a video and some questions to discuss in class and you would put all that information here inside the description to save some time I'm not going to put that in there but I just wanted to explain it this is really where you would put the explanation of what the student is taking a look at and here under page content is where we're going to start incorporating all of the media that is related to one another about this particular topic. And I also want to expand this arrow button here to get the full effect of my HTML editor. So I want to start by giving some instructions to the students to watch a particular documentary. So I'm going to incorporate that information here to save some time. Okay, so I have my text here and I'm basically telling the students that I'm going to be including a video of a documentary that I want them to watch and that afterwards there will be some questions that they'll have to keep in mind as they're watching it. So in order for me to add my video, it's going to be the same exact way that I add a video when I'm trying to make a label. So I'm going to click up here with the little camera and the piece of paper and I want to find the link which I have ready here. And I'm just going to paste it right into here and press insert media and again you're going to see the link show up but don't worry once we save it and the video is viewed on the main page it will show up that way and I'm going to center this so that way it will show up obviously in the center and now I want to include the questions that I told the students to watch out for so again I'm going to insert these questions to save time so as you can see, I added some questions here that I want the students to keep in mind. And I used my HTML editor to add bullets here so it looked a little bit more organized. And I'm actually going to just bold this so they can tell that it's something that's important. And now that I've put my questions in here, I also want to add one more video letting them know what's coming next. So now I've written that I want to share the full length version of Steamboat Willie here. So what I'm going to do is then just add the same video, same way. I'm going to insert the audio or video file and then I'm just going to find the link and then copy and paste it right into my page. Insert the media and there's my video. Now for this example I am primarily using text and I'm using video files. However, you can also use music files if you think that would describe what you're looking to do better. You can use images. Basically it's all different kinds of media that are all related to one particular topic. So this is all I'm going to do in this case, but you can choose what you would like to use that you think fits what you're trying to say to your students the best. Once I'm finished, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and press save and return to course. And now I can see if I scroll up to early career, I have my Walt Disney documentary. And if I click on that, this is what it looks like. It gives me a description of what they're about to watch. I have my documentary here that they can play the video. I also have the questions here that I want them to keep in mind and again this other video that I have included here at the bottom. So a page is just a really great way to consolidate all of that information into one place. If this was on the main page, although the students would get all of that information, it would definitely look crowded and I feel like it would definitely cause some confusion amongst the students. So this way everything is consolidated into one space and it makes it more organized for you. In our next video we're going to discuss how to create a basic gradebook.